cadeira vadia da terapia energética psicocorporal, a quarta formação gratuita de autocura de Vivian Raub Dukope, psicóloga suíça, aqui a segunda lição como a primeira demonstração não me apreciam. Nessa demonstração, pode ser ver muito bem que quando o paciente cambia, muda de cadeira a cadeira da outra pessoa, pode de verdade sentir e falar como o faria a outra pessoa. Poderão ver o na mudança de voz, que é muito lento, é, quase não se fala mais. É na postura completamente decaída. Você pode ver também como o terapeuta interrompe cada vez que o paciente não fica como os sentimentos mas intelectualiza ou se defende ou diz o que tem que fazer. Oh, então, o terapeuta tem que dizer, eu perguntei como você se sente, não o que pensa. Você pode ver também como o terapeuta repete, como um papagaio, para que o cliente se sente compreendido é para aprofundar e não utiliza as suas palavras diferentes. A demonstração está em inglês, com subtítulos em espanhol. E penso que vão a poder compreender o importante é poder ver a mudança quando um vai à cadeira vazia. Okay, Blanca Maria. Hi. Hi. What would you like to work on? I have the situation where I have been of service and a friend of mine, I had to take her to, to the doctor. And I don't know um, how my friend feels about me doing everything that I've done and also the sister of my friend. Yes, I can, I can imagine that she's a little bit upset because like she said, oh, I really love you, but we're very, very different. And I told her, yeah, I know exactly what you're trying to tell me, but everything I'm doing, I'm doing with all my heart and I am um, supporting you. Mm -hmm. So you're saying, uh, she says, I love you, but... Yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Do you want to ask her? Imagine she's sitting on this empty chair just in front of you. Yeah. Can you see her? Ah, uh, yes, I can. What does she look like? What is, how is she dressed? She's dressed in uh, uh, blue pants, but like not navy blue, more like mauve blue and uh, corresponding, a little bit lighter um, sweater. Mm -hmm. How does she look at you? What's she's her expression? very upset right now and she's like angry because I left her as a doctor and I had to come back. You know, I couldn't stay there, I had to leave. I really had to leave. What would you like to ask her? What's her name? Susan. Susan, okay, ask her. Susan. Susan. Um, I, you know what, I feel like it's too close. Can I, can I move back a little bit? Sure. Yeah, that's better. Um, I think that I would like to hear from her that she realizes everything that so happened. So ask her directly, Susan, I'd like to hear from you. 
Susan, I would like to hear from you how you feel about everything that happened uh, the last five days, which have been very, very strong for you and for me. And um, I don't know if something that I personally need, need is recognition, and I don't know if you can give me that recognition that I need from you, or from your family, or from your family. How do you feel now that you took asked her? Better. Okay, so please get up. Get out of your own personal field and sit when you're ready on this empty chair, which will be the chair of Susan. Okay. And get into the energy of Susan. Susan, have you heard what Blanca Maria said? What did you hear? I'm tired. I'm very tired. You're very tired. I don't want to be here. Yes, I can see that. Have you heard what Blanca Maria asked you? Yeah. What did she ask you? If I can acknowledge all that she did the last five days. And I think she also asked you something else before that. I remember. How you feel about what she did. Oh. She had to fight a lot with me to insist a lot to get the manuals so she could read. <laughs> I didn't quite get what you are saying. She refused to open any machines until she had the service manuals in her hands. Mm -hmm. She really likes to open machines. <laughs> You're nodding your head, like with a no. Women don't do that. Women don't do that. No. So how did you feel about her looking for that manual? Well, she fixed everything. Mm -hmm. So she repaired things, yes. and how did you feel? feel about all of that? Useless. Useless? Yes. You felt useless? Yes. And how did you feel about Blanca Maria? She talks too much. She talks too much? Yeah. How did that make you feel? Well, she was always telling me what to do and what not to do. Mm -hmm. And how did that make you feel? Like a little girl. Oh, and how did you like to feel like a little girl? I need to be like a little girl. Right now I'm sick. I'm really sick. I'm so sick. Mm -hmm. I'm sick. I'm, I'm not doing well. I'm sick. And she gets upset with me because she says, don't say I'm sick every two seconds. And she tells me, all your words affect your cells. Don't speak mm -hmm. like that, and then, oh. And how does that make you feel when she says, every two minutes, don't say that? I don't believe in all this energy stuff. And how does that make you feel when she talks about all of that? Like a little girl, you said, but is that a feeling of anger, or of sadness, or of... Fear or of what? But the feeling of Blanca Maria taking care of you and telling you what to do and what not to do, how did that make you feel? 
I'm one that was always commanding. Uh huh. I'm yeah. not used to people telling me what to do. Yeah. You're used to commanding and not to hear what you have to do. And now that Blanca Maria was doing that, how did that make you feel? Useless. Useless. Yes. Yeah. And I don't, I don't feel well. I, I, I don't feel well. I don't feel well. And it's cold. It's, everything is cold. <sighs> everything is cold. I feel something here. Uh -huh. It's like a... I feel something here and... You know what? I'm very sad. You're I want to sad. cry. I really, really feel like crying very hard. Yeah. Yeah. I just don't see any reason. You're sad. You're very sad. Yeah. yeah. It's difficult. It's difficult. Tired. I just want to sleep. You just want to sleep. Okay. So when it's okay for you, please get up. Stand up from that chair and get out of that energy of yours, Susan. And please... Sit now on the chair of Blanca Maria. Great. Oh. Yeah, it's a good way of getting oh. out of an energy. Whew. Okay, so please sit on the chair of Blanca Maria. Hi. <laughs> Blanca Maria, what have you heard? I heard that she's uh, feeling very tired and that she thinks I don't take her seriously and that she didn't like it that I was telling her not to say that she was sick every five minutes and she um, that she's tired um, What of all the things she said struck you most? Mm. Well, I would like to ask you how you feel about other things also, she said. Do you remember? No. Something about a child? A child? That she feels like a child. Ah. Ah. That I'm always telling her what to do? Yeah. I firmly believe that it was absolutely necessary because... I was... asked you how you feel uh, and whether you remember what she said. It makes me feel like a child. And how does it make her, her feel? Useless. Useless. Uh -huh. How does that make you feel that Susan says, well, Blanca Maria, when she tells me to do that and that and that and not to do that and that, it makes me feel like a child and useless. I, it is not my intention to make her feel bad, so I really feel bad that she's feeling bad. It's not my intention to make her feel bad, mm -hmm. but under such circumstances, sometimes one has to take Divine. I didn't ask you what one has to do. I just wanted to know how that makes you feel. Well, I'm sorry that she feels bad. Mm -hmm. Do you want to tell her? I was um, overwhelmed with with the situation because I'm not trained to to treat you know not to treat, but this was beyond what I had ever encountered before in my life. So. Uh, Please understand that I only did my best every moment that I was talking with you and I was at your home. Laka Maria, how do you feel now that you have told her that? Well, I remember that 
I felt useless. When? When I couldn't bring her out of this. Everything mm -hmm. is bad. Everything is negative. Everything you know. Every it affects me. Do you too, want to you tell know? her about that you felt useless too? Well, she knows it. <laughs> she you want to tell down. her again? She saw me break down, crying. Susan, you know, it's uh, to. I thought that I would be able to bring you out of it, and when I couldn't, um, my thoughts were, well, at least I'm really good at fixing machines, <laughs> or at least I'm really good at cooking stuff, and you didn't like, you know, you had not even tasted my cooking, and, and you said you didn't want to eat it, and that that's a very that touches situations of my past that, that hurt a lot. So. Uh, Blanca Maria, you just said it touches. She didn't eat what you cooked. No. How did that make you feel and what did that touch? Oh. But then we have to talk about my marriage. Yeah, why not? Well, I remember the very beginning of my marriage, I made a duck a la orange, orange, duck a la orange. And Canara d'orange. Oui. And my husband came home and I said, table, fantastic, and, and he didn't even taste it. Mm -hmm. And that sort of stayed inside of me, mm -hmm. <laughs> very hurtful. <laughs> Is that okay if we get a chair for your husband? <gasps> Ex-husband. Yeah? Is oh, that okay? Jesus. But I'm not sure that I want to... <laughs> you just put the, the chair in the right place. Yeah, okay. Right direction. Mm -hmm. So, Susan, I just put her there, right? Well, no, she still stays there. Just stay there with it. Just I, I, I need a Kleenex just a moment. I, I don't think I've ever worked with my ex-husband. I don't know. I don't remember. <laughs> so funny. how shall we call your husband? Ah, uh, the gorgeous one. <laughs> let him give. Let us give him another name. Paul. Paul. Okay. Can you see him? Oh yes. What's he dressed like? He's dressed all in white. All in white. Do you want to tell him about the story of the Duck. Canard à l'orange? Canard à l'orange. Paul, when we were recently married, you... I prepared really a fantastic dinner. Actually, it was really good because <laughs> I did eat it. <laughs> But you did not even touch the whole dinner. You did not honor all the food that I had created. And that hurts me very much. Yeah. Blanca Maria, now that you told him, how does that make you feel? Furious. <laughs> furious? Yeah. Do you want to tell him that all of that makes you furious? Sad. Oh, sad. Makes you sad. What is it now, furious or sad? Um, powerless. Powerless. I, I have a sense of powerlessness. Powerless. Yeah. And sad or furious or all of that? Everything together. Everything together. Just stay with the situation. Paul comes home and doesn't even taste yeah. your wonderful meal. Yeah. And I don't know why. And feel again and tell him what you feel. You know, if, if, if you, not if you, like if the world said that I really don't know how to cook or that what I cook is not nice, but everybody says that it's when I finally cook, it's really good. So it's not. It was not a question of taste. Uh, Tell him how you felt. 
oh, how you feel right now and go into this feeling. Well, I feel bad. I still feel bad. It's like you, ah, it's like you robbed me of something. Like you took something away from me. Yes, you took something away from me that night, that evening. You, you, ki you killed something inside of me. That's it. How does it feel to tell him that? Good. But, of course, it's only speculation, but I don't think he cares. <laughs> mm -hmm. So please stand Sorry. up. Oh, yes? Yeah, good. Ooh. Stand up. Get out of the energy of Blanca Maria. Mm -hmm. And when you're ready, sit on the chair of Paul. Difficult. That's very really difficult. Paul. Yes? Have you listened to what Blanca Maria said? What did she say? She said she was upset at me because I did not want to eat her meal and that I, I stole something away from her and she was very hurt that evening. And, uh, Is there anything you would like to tell her about the canard à l'orange, the I duck, was then? I really tired that day. I, I had to pay taxes and I, yes, I would like to tell you that my parents, my father never spoke to my mother about anything. So I didn't know how to speak with you about anything either. So what are your feelings now about this canal de l'orange? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't think I valued you. <sighs> I don't think I valued you. How does it make you feel to say I'm sorry? I don't do that ever. Ever. Not in reality, but here in fiction. How does it make you feel? I did a lot of things to her. <laughs> so. I ask you how that makes you feel to say I'm sorry. Feels good. Feels it, good. It, it, um, the soul feels like the soul rests a little bit. Okay. Okay, Paul, when you're ready, just get up. Stand up. And get out of the energy of Paul's. <sighs> and sit on the chair of Blanca Maria. Okay. Have you heard what he just said? He said, I'm sorry. How does that make you feel? Good. Recognized. Hmm? Recognized. Recognized. Mm -hmm. Good and recognized. Uh, I could cry for 100 years. Mm -hmm. You want to do it just for part of the hundred years? I don't know if it brings anything. What does, what does crying bring? I don't know. You just said you wanted to cry for a hundred years. Do you want to allow you to cry just for a little moment?
we st- we are looking at Susan right now. Yeah, I'm looking at her. How do you feel, Blanca Maria, to tell that? Good. To Susan. Yeah, I really mean it. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> and how do you feel with yourself right now? Grateful that I have you. <laughs> that I ask with yourself. <laughs> Grateful that I have me. Uh-huh. It's a good life. It's a good life. So really, I'm really grateful for my life. So thank you very much. Can we leave it here? Yep. Se você quer fazer a formação gratuita de autocura com a cadeira vazia TEP, pode enviar-me a folha de inscrição que pode encontrar na minha página web www.vivianraub.com, português, YouTube. E pode clicar na lição que quer de, da cadeira vazia.